boys and girls, what's good with you? BQ here. Before we get to the topic at hand, this is a dual upload for the Impact Lounge and my new channel, Club Dynamite. That's where I'm going to be covering AEW, not to the point that I cover Impact, but it is my new channel. So if you're listening to me right now in the Impact Lounge, check this, the description of this video or the pinned comment, and you can click over to Club Dynamite and subscribe. And if you're listening on Club Dynamite, even though there's only a few of you right now and want to subscribe over at the Impact Lounge where we do a real super big, again, check the description or the pinned comment. So LAX contracts rumored to be up by the end of summer. AEW has interest. WWE has interest. We love a LAX as Impact Wrestling fans. But this is probably the time that we got to prepare to say goodbye in my opinion. LAX has done everything that they can do in Impact at this point. Now, can they move on and be LAX? I don't think so because I believe Impact owns a name LAX because obviously there was a prior version of the group. Now, LAX, I believe they're four-time tag team champions with Impact. They've beaten everybody. And one of the problems, I've talked about this ad nauseum with Roe on the podcast on the channel, that even when LAX first joined the company, they ran through everybody very quickly they didn't really get to do programs with the other tag teams what the problem was is that the tag team titles were vacant because the hardys left so there was that tag team tournament and then the ill-advised global force wrestling tag team tournament and i believe lax won both of them right is that how that worked out or they didn't win the uh impact via via tournament it was a uh, four team match so lax ran through everyone really quickly they went through uh, the, the OGs. They had several matches with them, beat them every single time. They, for whatever reason, Impact had the titles as part of that feud. They didn't need the titles. So we always we, we get very used to LAX as the champions. There's no, there's no anything else with them, it seems like. They had several matches with the Lucha Brothers. Lucha Brothers are gone. Now, those matches with the Lucha Brothers are probably what really, really, truly caught the eye of these other promotions. Now they're feuding with the Rascals, which in my opinion, talented guys, but kind of a step down from what they've been doing. The match should be great at Slammiversary, don't get me wrong. should be one of the top matches of the evening, but it's a step down from what they've been doing previously and who they've been working with. Now, there are a few tag teams in Impact that they can still work with. But I think the lore of AEW is going to be too great for LAX. I think they might go back to their old name. And I, I see them going there. I really do. It sucks as an Impact fan, but that's where you got to start breaking in. Some of these new teams, they've been bringing in new teams. Now, do we want them to go over to the Crooked E? Absolutely not. And I, I don't think that they'll do that. I mean, the tag team division over there is extremely weak. It's booked extremely weak. And obviously, they're going to have to start down at NXT. Who knows how much TV time they're going to get. I think the lore of AEW is too great. And I think they're going to be the first of about four or five impact stars that we're going to see um, defect over there when the contracts are up. So the way that AEW has been hurting Ring of Honor's roster right now, I really do foresee that with impact. It just depends whether you're ROH or your impact. How do you bounce back from that? How do you start uh, building more, more talent? So they should be prepared for that. But go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments um, about the whole rumor that AEW and WWE are interested in LAX. Obviously, they can't quite take that gimmick over there with them. And I don't want LAX to go anywhere as an Impact fan. But I think it's safe to say that there's a high probability it's going to happen because they, they've just done too much. You know, what are we going to see them win the tag team titles a fifth time, a sixth time? They've done too much. They did it too quickly. They've had... You know, very long title reigns, many title reigns. It just doesn't really make sense to bring them back on, especially since Impact will end up probably will probably end up in a bidding war for them, and I don't think they're going to uh, raise what they're paying them right now, considering everything I said about what they've accomplished and done so far, with very little else to do, very little room to grow. Is the LAX gimmick still working on Impact? The clubhouse every week, the music, Conan, all that. Is it, st is it still working? Are they going to go a new direction? We'll see what happens. Leave your thoughts in a comment. Whatever channel you're listening to, subscribe on. 
and then subscribe to the other channel as well. Uh, this is BQ. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.